Hello friends, it's math time with Mrs. Itis. Today you're going to need one of the pages in your math time packet, the green construction paper that's a little bit darker in your fun pack. You're going to need your pencil, crayons, scissors, and glue for this project. And the page that we need is the very last page of your packet right here where you see some gold coins and some pots and a little story. So all you're going to do is gently pull it off and place your packet to the side. All we need is this last page, okay? So we're going to begin by coloring in the gold coins and the pots of gold. So first, let's go ahead and get our yellow crayon and color the gold coins. How many do you see, friends? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Great job. Now we need to color our pots with the black crayon. So if you need to turn it to the side, if it's easier for you, you can do that. Let's go ahead and very lightly, you don't have to press hard, let's color the pots with the black crayon. There are four. If you get out of the lines a bit, don't worry because we're gonna cut out these shapes. Not a problem. Good job. Go ahead and color in your pots of gold with black. Great. Carefully, carefully. I have two. Working on my third. Remember, if the video goes too quickly for you, you can always push pause and then catch up. So three pots of gold. And now four. Four pots of gold. As you can see, I'm just doing a sideways color because it helps me to go a little bit faster when I just go in one direction back and forth, like so. Great job, friends. All right. Once you have your pots of gold colored and your gold coins, you can put away your crayons and then we can get our scissors, okay? So what we need to do is we need to cut out the story box, the pots of gold, and the gold coins. Remember, use a safe, open, shut them cut. First, we're gonna cut out the story, like this. You can cut up the two lines first, then turn your paper and cut along the dots. Nice and carefully, take your time. Remember, you can always pause the video. I'm just cutting around all of the dots, the tops, the sides, the bottoms, okay? So I'm gonna put my story here at the bottom of my construction paper with my glue. So remember, just an itty bitty bit of glue. Turn over the story part and make just two stripes on the sides. That'll be enough glue a stripe and a stripe of glue. Now, we're going to glue this story box towards the bottom of the green construction paper. Press down a little. There you go. Excellent, so we have our story part ready. Great job. Cover your glue stick for now until it's time to use it again and put it off to the side. Great. Now we're gonna cut out the four pots for the gold coins. So I'm just going to cut all the way across the tops of these two pots of gold. Put the scrap away, and then I'm gonna cut 
all the way across the tops of these other two pots of gold. This way, my coins are off to the side. I don't have to worry about them yet. All right, now we can go ahead and cut around the sides and the bottoms of each pot with some curvy cuts. Remember, rotate your paper with your other hand as you go. And carefully cut out your four pots of gold. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Good job. Guide your scissor around the outside line. See if you can follow those lines as carefully as you can. There's two pots of gold. Here come three. Remember, you can always pause the video and catch up. Up and around. Whoops. Three pots of gold. And now I have my fourth pot of gold. Okay. Great job, friends. After you're done cutting out your four pots of gold, we're going to glue them onto the green construction paper, okay? We're going to arrange them with two at the top and two toward the bottom, but I need you to see if you could put a three finger space from the top. We don't want the pots all the way at the top because then we can't put the gold coins inside, okay? So here is a fun gluing trick that we're going to do. When we glue the pots, we're just gonna glue in this oval part. We're not gonna glue the very top, and I'll show you why in a little bit. So just put glue here in the oval part. Do you see? Just the oval part. Turn it over and press it down. All right, let's get the second pot. Just the oval part gets glue. Like you're making a big oval shape. Turn it around, glue it down. Press, good. So you see the tops are still able to move and you're gonna see why in a little bit. Glue here at the oval part. Turn it around, now make sure. Remember, don't put it all the way here. We gotta put gold coins inside. So give it a, like a three finger space, plenty of space in between. Press it down and then put an oval amount of glue on the back and line it up and glue it down. Great job, friends. Okay, so now we need to get our gold coins ready. Cover your glue for now because you don't want your glue to dry out. And let's go ahead and cut out all of these gold coins, all right? So this is gonna take a lot of turning as you cut out your gold coins. In fact, I'm gonna do a very close cut all the way up the sides and around to see if I can save a few steps of turning because these are some small coins. Okay, all right. So you do what works best for you. Now all I have to do is cut out the middle parts. You see that? Yeah, pretty neat. So I'm gonna do curve cuts and I'm just gonna do these in pieces, little bits at a time. You do the way that you feel most comfortable to cut out the gold coins for you. Just doing some of the bottom curves first, and then I'll do each of the individual top curves. All right, so I can have my coins. So here's one coin ready. Now I'm just gonna do the tops. Good, two coins. Three coins. Good job, good cutting. Four coins. Five coins. 
If you need to pause, go ahead and pause and catch up. Six coins. Seven coins. And eight. Eight gold coins. All right. Excellent. Once you have your eight gold coins, go ahead and line them up in a row so that you can make sure you count them and that they're all there. Okay? Let's make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fantastic. Now we have to follow what our story says. My leprechaun gave me four pots of gold. In each pot were blank gold coins. So that means I have to make sure each pot gets the same amount of coins. How many coins do you think can go into each pot so that all the pots have the same amount of coins? Is it three? Do you think three would work? Hmm, let's try that. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Oh no, I don't have enough to have three in this pot and three in that pot. So, hmm, maybe that wouldn't work. Can you think of maybe another way? Hmm. Did you say one in each pot? Let's try it. Let's try to put one gold coin in each pot. Okay, here's one and here's one. And here's one. And here's one. That definitely works one in each pot, but I have extras left over and I have to use all of my gold coins. Hmm, what do you think I could do with these last four gold coins? Put them in the pots? Okay. One, two, three, four. Are all my pots equal now? Yes, they all have two gold coins. Wow, so that means my leprechaun gave me four pots of gold. In each pot were two gold coins because now they're all equal. Now I have, hmm, how many gold coins all together? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I have eight gold coins. How many are in each, friends? Two. So two plus two plus two plus two, two plus two plus two plus two equals eight. And here's a big kid trick. Two times four, two gold coins in four pots equals eight. Two times four is eight. Wow, you learned a good trick. All right, time to glue our coins. But we're not gonna glue them in the pot like this. We're gonna glue them sticking out the top. That's why we didn't glue these before. So watch this fun art trick. So you're gonna put a little bit of glue behind each coin like this. And then you're gonna be able to tuck it behind a little bit. One, two, tuck it behind. There we go, so cute. Now it looks like the gold coins are popping out of the tops of the pots of gold. So put a little glue on each coin. Little glue here, little glue there. All right, lift your pot of gold, tuck your coin right behind it. Lift and tuck. Ta-da! See how your gold coins are popping out? Isn't that a fun art trick? Okay, glue a little there, glue a little there. You can lift your pot of gold up a bit. Glue down one and two gold coins. So cute. One more pot of gold to go. Little glue here. I'll tuck it in already. 
and a little bit of glue here. Lift and tuck. Ta-da! Great job, friends. That's excellent. With your pencil or your flare pen, you can go ahead and write your name at the tippy top because you are the artist of this wonderful math art that we've made. I sure you hope, hope that you had a great time making all these little pots of gold. We were able to figure out an equal number to put in each pot. And we learned that that was two, 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 and two. Two, four, six, eight. Look, we can even count by twos. Thank you for joining me today, friends. Have a great rest of your day. Bye now.